Hey guys, Helping Hands here, and today we'll be checking out World War Commander. World War Commander may be the first proper true RTS game on a mobile platform, which is set during the Second World War. There are over 40 types of units currently, including infantry, vehicles, and tanks, all at your command. While exploring the unit roster, I even saw units such as the Mighty Mouse Tank that I actually never saw combat in reality. For those that play the Company Heroes franchise, the gameplay mechanics feel very similar with strategic point capping to generate resources and being able to upgrade them further for a higher increase in resources gained. World War Commander takes this a step further, allowing players to add another upgrade to the point which allows it to fulfill a specific role, whether it be a firing point to kill infantry or an emplacement to kill tanks and more. Also, players can choose a commander to battle with, which gives you unique off-map abilities and call-ins. In this match, I have chosen Eric von Wagner, which grants me these three abilities. Blitzkrieg, Reinforcements, and Defensive Artillery. As you play through the match, you generate commander points to spend on these abilities. Here, I use the Reinforcements ability, which brought on a Panzer Jäger 1 and an MG42. To defeat your opponent, you can win through victory point control or by destroying their base. One thing I absolutely love about this game is being able to change up my unit roster. So we can see here we have a, a selection of units that I've already put in the roster, but I can change out, for instance, the Kub wagon to something else and maybe the mouse as well. Um, and I'm allowed to just change up my strategy based on how I'm feeling. You can see uh, the unit cards as well, and they clearly indicate how much population cap they take up with the blue number, how much supply they cost in a green number, and the diamond symbol at the bottom of the unit card um, with a one or a two or three indicates which tier they're in. The color of the card indicates its rarity, and you unlock these cards through spending the in-game currency coins. Coins are collected through completing daily objectives, as well as spending tokens to purchase them. Tokens, on the other hand, are harder to come by and also could be purchased using real money. Players can also use coins to upgrade units and cards to upgrade their level. This increases their damage and health in this current version of the game. So I'm sure many of you watching right now are thinking all oh, red flags. People can pay to get ahead with obviously they can buy tokens and then buy coins and buy more cards, therefore upgrade their units and make you know and have a lot stronger roster basically. Now I expressed these concerns to developers and definitely thought, yeah, this does look a bit pay to win. And they said what they're planning on doing is only putting paid players up against paid players. For people who have really high level units, they'll only ever be fighting up, up against other people of similar level units. So you won't ever have people who are brand new to the game be forced to play up against someone who's super high level. Now, that being said, I still worry personally about how they're going to do the leaderboard system because still people who are spent a lot of money in the game uh, and have all their units maxed out will have a higher chance of beating somebody uh, with a lower level deck and but even though that lower level player might be a much better micro uh, player, they might be able to be a micro, a lot more skilled, they still will lose because their raw unit uh, firepower and health won't be able to beat their opponents. Um, so yeah, that, there is going to be an issue about how they would do leaderboards. Maybe they'll just do leaderboards for just the play to um, win players and the um, free play players will just have their own type of leaderboards. If that was the case, then uh, you know that, that's fair enough and that would be fine. Uh, and I hope the developers do that going forward. In the main menu, there's an option which says Path to Glory. You click that. This is where you can see how far you have leveled up in your main progression with the factions of both the Americans and the Germans. So here we have 40 USA and 20 German. That added together is 60. And the more you play with either faction, the more you'll level them up. And the more you level them up, the more things you'll unlock. Um, you'll unlock more coins and more tokens and even generals and maps down the line as well. So we're going to jump into a match now, and I'll show you how I micro using my thumbs. So here we have, have the game. So we've got our first unit. So what I would do is click my Vox Squad, and I would probably turn him to come over here. And then I would recruit some more units from this angle here. Get some flamethrowers out. 
And then sometimes I might hold my hand, my hand like this, and I might be able to micro like this. Units around, so we'll get the flame through. If you want to stick multiple units on the screen, I would do this button, and it selects every available unit that's uh, on the actual screen that you can see. It didn't select this unit because it wasn't uh, visible. If I move this, these guys over here, you select them by selecting something else like that, and then press this button again, you'll see this squad will get selected. There you go, the other squad over there got selected, and then we're going to move them ahead and across the river, like so. So if we want to deselect something as well, there's a deselect button which is over here, like that. Uh, or we can tell you to click on a unit and then tell them to retreat. So let's go call on and maybe another flamethrower because they're pretty damn good. So we get another flamethrower unit. They're automatically selected when you build them. We'll tell them maybe to focus. I'll just click on the minimap so I can go select the minimap, top left hand side, and get him to come over here and grab that point. Let's go back to the main point. So we double tap the unit icon there to get um, zoom into that unit. Send these guys out. We get you to go there. And then this unit, we're going to send, go attack this enemy flamethrower unit over here that's coming in to stop us. So we'll actually get everybody involved in this engagement so we can win it, hopefully. So we're going to click retreat. We're not winning that fight there. And we're going to select these units that are on the field again. And we're going to take them out and go attack again. More team. We'll have them actually fight a firing cap from there. Let's move over to this side of the map. Got a flamethrower squad over here. Looks like we won the engagement there, which is good. Get them to capture this supply drop. And we can now call on those reinforcements. So let's do that. Some extra free units. Do that. We'll get the MG to come into this house over here. And the Panzer Jaeger 1 to come here. So the basics. Like, so you can also zoom into the units. If we can do this, we can zoom in a little bit. Um, I haven't figured out if there's a way to turn the map around. But you can make a box, a, a selection box. If you do that, like the double, double thumbs. It's not super easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, you can make a box like that. So currently I've played maybe two hours or so of the game total and I'm finding that microing um, out, it will be a lot slower than if you were to use a mouse for instance but as your opponent will also be using their hands you'll be on level playing field. I do definitely find it's very hard when you are trying to micro with your fingers and stuff like that on a mobile device it's very hard to multitask and jump around the map to, to move things and retreat things quite quickly. Um, so I, yeah, but that might just be with practice because I've never really normally play mobile games myself. But I think you know personally the game is uh, very promising, and I hope um, the developers do end up fixing kind of the the, the pay to win um, aspect of the game in such a way that you know free to play players will not feel like they're getting dunked on or they've got you know they've got a fair chance when they play uh, against other players. And so guys, if you are interested in trying out this game, there'll be a beta test available around the 20th of April for Android users and one later on in the summer for iOS users. Also in the description, there will be a link for the Discord for World War Commander for you guys to check out. And uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.